Hey, 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 it's Margie is Bev. Oh my god. <laughs> anyway, welcome to my channel. If you've never been here before, then set your butt down and get ready for a video. Oh my god, I'm so lame. Anyway, today I'm going to be doing a review and swatches for you of these Buxom Single Bar Eyeshadows in a Customizable Palette. Exciting. I stumbled upon these shadows in the craziest way. Like, I was just at a JCPenney Sephora with my bestie, waiting on her to do whatever. You know, I got my arm up on the thing. And I look over, and I see this eyeshadow. And I'm like, holy crap, this eyeshadow is pretty. I'm gonna swatch it, just for fun. We're just here, doing whatever. So I swatched it, and I was like, oh my god. And I swatched another one, and another one. And I was spiraling deeper and deeper into love and madness. So, I was like, I'm going to hold off. And then I kept coming back, and I kept swatching these shadows and falling in love with them. And I was like, oh my god, everyone needs to know about these. I need to get some. So finally, I broke down and got some. And how cool is this? This is the best part about these eyeshadows. Each eyeshadow is $12 a piece. So if you get six of them, you're already at $72. Like, now you're like, okay, but you, you better tell me something because I'm not spending $72 on an eyeshadow plus $13 for the compact. So now you're at $85 for an eyeshadow palette. I know, I know. You're about to turn the video off and say, I'm, I'm getting me a Maybelline. But listen, they do a special basically where if you get the customizable palette with the six shadows it's only forty dollars so you're getting a forty five dollar discount on something that's actually eighty five dollars i know pretty cool now you only get six so when you're like well the anastasia modern renaissance palette is like what forty two dollars and you're getting like 12 shades you're kind of like eh. but their shades are like you know this big where these are like this big like these are a good little hunk in size and honestly you can get a really good palette you could make a metals palette where you had like a black white a bronze a gold a silver and a rose gold you could make an all blues palette an all purples palette you could make a warm neutrals a cool neutrals all shimmer all matte a mixture you know you could even pick stuff like I did where I kind of picked stuff that I didn't have in my collection like I didn't have that eyeshadow so that's what I got you could do whatever you want and that's the cool part about this, especially for me, because me personally, I am extremely picky when it comes to eyeshadows. So if I can make my own thing, that that's just perfect. Now, let me break it down for you peeps. Let me break it down. Da, 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 da. This is the customizable shadow palette. They all look like this. They might change every so often. They say buxom, they're plastic. On the side here, and I'm sure you've seen me use this before. It opens up on the side here. So you literally just get your little finger in there. And the tray pulls out like this. Alright, so now you have an empty shell of a palette. And they do come with little brushes, but you know, like, whatever. You know how brushes are when they come with a palette sometimes. So they look like this. And they literally just pop out of these trays. And this is how the single bar eyeshadow comes. So let me set this down right quick. So they look like this. So this is my thumb, and this is how big they are compared to my thumb. So they're a pretty good little hunk in size. Um, the shadow names are on the back of them, so in case you're ever like, oh, what's that shadow, what's that shadow, right here. This one's called Mixed Mink, and you get 0 .05 ounces of product. So that's a pretty decent size. And basically, that's just how you set them in there. So you'll just set them in their pans like this when you want to, maybe you're going on a trip. Maybe you have more than one palette, you're going on a trip, and you want to take this one out and switch it with that one. Or you want to put this one over here, whatever. That is how you do them. So that's pretty cool. Um, does come with a little brush, like I said. Comes with a pretty decent sized mirror. Hey. I love these. These are primer infused shadows. So bomb. These are just like their finger swatches. You know how sometimes when you swatch something and you're like, oh, <laughs> this is gorgeous. And then you put it on with a brush and you're like, okay, I'm not picking up any product. Great. 
These are not like that. These are true to form. So like the finger swatch is almost really close to the brush swatch and I will show you all. So um, I'm going to go ahead and start swatching these for you. We're just going to get right into the goods and if I can keep my freaking head straight maybe we we'll want to keep seeing the ring light back there and let's get into it peeps. Right, we're doing an overview. We have Mixed Mink, Bronze Bod, Dust Till Dawn, La La Lavish, The Beautiful Silver is Pure Platinum, and Spoiled Sexy okay. is that mauve. So to start off, I'm going to go in order. I'm using Mixed Mink. This is a, a sh really pretty kind of more, I think it's more foil than it is shimmer, champagne color. So I'm just going to go back and forth with my finger and I'm going to swatch it on the back of my hand. So this is one coat of Mixed Mink. Literally one swipe -a -a Um, I'm taking my MAC 242 brush. This is like a flat synthetic brush. I'm going to do a couple swipes in here. I'm gonna do three swipes. Cause, er, no, I'll go do like a couple because this one's a little more temperamental than the other ones. And here is Mixed Mink. So, yeah, pretty much close to the same one. If you can get it into focus, pretty close. So, the next color we have is Bronzed Bod. It's a really pretty, just bronze. Um, it looks a little more orangey red on camera, but it looks more brown to me. So I'll swatch it and let you figure out what you think. So again, I just went back and forth four times. One, two. That's what I did, or two times, or four times if you count each one as one. And this is the finger swatch. Ugh freaking fire. Let me show you another finger swatch down here. Look. Like, like what the heck? Is this black magic? Is this black magic? That's the real question. Now I'm going to take my MAC brush. I'm going to do a couple swipes in bronze bod. And here is the brush swatch of bronze bod. So pretty close. The third shadow is called Dusk Till Dawn. This is a beautiful um, hunter green with a slight twinge of gold in it. I, mm, oh, this one's good. This one is good, peeps. And I've been really in like an olive green mode. So this was like, this was like top on my list of priorities. Ooh, that is so pretty. I love that with a little bit of a brown matte shade girl you gonna you gonna be you gonna be from dusk till dawn every night with this on all right now we will get into the fourth shade and this one was the og this was was the one that caught my eye originally because i was just like god that's so pretty and this is la oh i f pause forgot to do a brush swatch this is the brush swatch. Now here is the brush swatch of Dusk Till Dawn. Oh, I just I just love a good green. I don't know what it is. Green's just really been, you know, floating my boat. All right, so now I'm going to swatch the fourth shade for you, which is La La Lavish. This is the OG. This is the one that started the obsession. I saw this. And I was like, I have to see what that looks like on the skin. And this is really fire. It looks more purple in the pan. This meets a little more opalescent on the skin. How pretty is that? Jeez Lapeze. I can't. I can't. I really, I really just can't. I cannot. Sometimes I literally sit around and just swatch these for hours. Like I don't even put them on. I just swatch them and like sit there and just like, ah, like stare at them in the light. That's sickening. You guys are like, big get help. Girl, get help. So this one actually looks a little lighter when it's not put on with your finger. That one's a little more sheer with the brush. It's 
still gorgeous. Don't care. I'm like a mom. Like, I'm like a mom talking about my children. Like, I'm just like, yeah, they got problems, but so what? They're my kids and they're pretty and I'll do whatever I want with them. <laughs> All right. So now I'm going to do the fifth shade in the collection of mine. And that is pure. Oh, I forgot pure platinum's the handicapped one. <laughs> so he, he came out of his pan and this is like, this is gold, even though it's silver, it's platinum. This is so fire. Look at that. That's pure metal. Like you're like, oh, she has a piece of metal stuck in her skin. Yeah, I know. Get it out and put it on my freaking eye. Now I'll do my brush. Get in on this. So with the brush, you do have to work it a little bit more, but... And this one I think is a little sheer like the other one. So that is that one. So pretty similar. Still get the same color payoff. You just got to work it off the brush a little longer. Oof. Yes, yes, yes. For the last one, and this is like my little sweetie. It's like my youngest child. It's the only matte shade, but it's a beautiful matte shade. It's a really pretty mauve color. It's very natural. Um, this one is called Spoiled Sexy. And their mattes are really buttery too. So if you're like, I only want the shimmers, honey. Their mattes are so buttery. Look at that. Right here, let me get a little bit more. So here. That is a buttery arse matte. Oh man, that's good. Okay, so that is it for the swatches. I hope that you guys liked this video. I definitely want to get more of these for sure. Um, I do know that Sephora and Ulta have similar shades, um, but there's a couple in there that are different. So definitely worth taking a look at. Like I remember going to Ulta thinking they were gonna have the same as Sephora and they, <laughs> they did not. So definitely make sure that you go and check both of them and kind of weigh your options or maybe go and take pictures or while you're at Sephora, maybe have like the Ulta app up. So you, I, but I know there are differences so check that out and you know see which ones you like better see if you like more mattes or more shimmers I think that they're really underrated eyeshadows and I think for the $40 deal that's pretty darn good you know considering the original pal would be $85 and that would that would be awesome like Viseart that'd be on some Viseart level <laughs> and I know I personally would never spend $85 on a palette so to get this is just such a just such a cool thing and I, I try to sell it to everybody like I literally should be their spokesperson because I try to sell people on these eyeshadows all the time like people are talking about oh, Anastasia Rana Renaissance and my Morphe 530 palette or these Marc Jacobs or whatever or you know Violet Voss and I'm like no buxom get it now oh I just saw like all my spit like it was like it was like SeaWorld Splash Zone there for a second. Oi. You guys, thank you so much again for watching. You mean the world to me. Good night.